Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video we are going on a little trip with you. I'm traveling alone and this is my first time in the last two years when I left Ukraine. Of course, I would like to travel under normal circumstances and preferable by airplane, but as it is. Actually, you can recognize about the reasons for my unplanned trip in the previous video on the channel, so I am going to Kraków, which is located in Poland. To get there from Kiev, I need to take two trains. I took a taxi to the Kiev train station railway station and arrived early. Because if their alt had been announced because of shelling, I would not have been on time because of the traffic jams. Yes, people in Ukraine live their normal lives in parallel with the war. To be more precise, we have integrated the war and shelling into our everyday lives. It sounds scary, but it's better to live life somehow while you have the opportunity than not to live it at all. So I drink coffee at the train station and go in search of my train. This train is a night train and we are going to the city of Peremyshle in Poland. I'll show you what the train looks like. It's the Ukrainian railroad, and by the way, we have a very convenient app where you can buy tickets and see which track the train departs from. I'm in a compartment, so there are four of us, me, two girls of my age, and one woman of about 60 years old. By the way, Ukrainian border guards come on the train in the morning, take our documents and return them in half an hour or so, and we go to the Polish border. It's in the city of Peremyshle that you have to get off the train, stand in line on the street for several hours and then go through the border guards. On my way back from my tip I will go through Warsaw and there the border guards enter the train. In general, in the summer there are no problems, but now it's fall and in Kyiv yesterday it was plus 28 degrees and in Poland this morning it was plus 5. So it was very cold. By the way, here I am in the second train and this is the Polish railroad. Here I am also traveling in a compartment, but it's a sitting compartment with only 6 seats. Actually, I bought tickets uh, online uh, through the Polish Railroads app. In general, I traveled about 20 hours on the first train, then a few hours to change trains and 3 hours on the second train. Just a little more and I'll be there. Let's go see what the compartment look like, how way through the trip the three of us draw and then more people came in. The tickets were checked 10 minutes before we got off the train. By the way, I had an interesting story on the border after first train. I barely made it to the next train thanks to the kilometer long Ukrainians in line who let me through and I managed to get on the second train in two minutes. It was just that the train was slightly delayed and there was also a delay at the border. Nothing terrible would have happened, the train is not a plane, there will be another one, but it was very nice and very pleasant for me and of course as a super sentimental person, I burst into tears at the border because of people's kindness. So here we are. It's not a big station, so it's hard to get lost. From the station you go straight into the shopping center, so I'm going straight for coffee. I'm coffee addict and I drink at least 4 cups of coffee a day. Actually, I arrived on a Sunday, as in many European countries, many stores are not open. It's about 10 am, so we have a lot of time, because you can only check into the apartments I rented from 3 pm. So we go for a walk and of course we go for a snack. This is my first time in Krakow. In Poland I have only been to Warsaw before. Of course these two cities are very different. Warsaw is more modern, Krakow has more ancient architecture. 
from the train station to the old city center is literally 10 minutes walk. In general, the old city has plus minus such architecture and the old city itself is not much different from Lviv or Warsaw, for example. There are a lot of people here, of course, since it's a day off. The weather is not pleasant yet, I'm already freezing, I wore everything I had on. By the way, I went only with hand luggage, I always go without a big suitcase, so I feel more free and as a practice shows a person can easily do with a small amount of things for a couple of weeks. By the way, from Krakow I fly to another country, but I will tell you about it in the next videos on the channel, so subscribe and stay with me if you haven't already. So tonight I have my first plane, there will be two of them and it will take 45 hours to get from Kiev to my final destination. By the way, have any of you been to Poland? If yes, then where exactly? And how do you like it? Write in the comments, I read everything. By the way, Krakow as well as Warsaw have a lot of green parks. People say that Poland is very grey and that there is little sunshine here compared to Ukraine, but when I was in Warsaw it was sunny and today in Krakow when I will walk in the afternoon it will be sunny too. Actually, walking around the city, I noticed that a lot of Ukrainian businesses have opened their stores, cafes, studios in this city, as well as in many other countries of the world. There are a lot of entrepreneurs in Ukraine in general. I also pay taxes as an entrepreneur, and it's considered that Ukrainian service is very fast, high quality and pleasant, so most Ukrainians who have uh, opened businesses in other countries are quite successful there. Of course, not everyone has such a financial opportunity, but the fact is that it's nice to meet familiar names and use familiar services all over the world. While I was walking around the old town and looking at souvenir shops, I noticed that since my last visit to Poland, the prices have been risen very much, and I checked the ratio of Polish and Ukrainian currency, and indeed it has risen. Not as much as the Ukrainian currency, of course, for example, if you understand that in Ukraine two years ago one hryvnia was equal to 28 dollars, now one hryvnia is 41 dollars. Accordingly, prices for everything from food to petrol have risen very much. Well, you and I are going to the other part of the city. Here is a very beautiful embankment where you can ride bicycles, walk, go on a boat trip on the Wisla River. By the way, for one day I found in Krakow about 20 kilometers, and at the end of the day I realized that I could not walk back, I didn't want to take a taxi, so I used a scooter, which is enough here. Actually, I love electric scooters in the warm season and when there are special white bicycle lanes. Now the sun is out and everything is more colorful at once. By the way, what is your weather and where do you live? Write in the comments. In Kyiv, when you will have this video, we have about 10 degrees of heat. And by the way, these are the electro scooters I was talking about. They are everywhere here and it's very easy to run them through the QR code. By the way, now uh, we'll have a look at the embankment and we'll go with you to check into the apartments. I decided to rent as I have to leave for the airport at 3 am and I want to sleep and take a shower for a couple of hours. Walking around Krakow everywhere you can hear Ukrainian speech, it's not strange as many Ukrainians moved to Poland with the beginning of the full-scale invasion. There is another area to sell or buy souvenirs and now we go with you to another area of Krakow. It's not far from the old center, but it is less touristy. It's not less crowded on a weekend, but definitely less touristy. And here is a promenade, which I am delighted with. I love it when they make white promenades near the water for walking. Yeah.
So we're looking at apartments. It's very simple, but it has everything you need to relax for half a day. Clothes, bathroom, bed, sofa, kittle, kitchen, if anyone needs it. And uh, after it, I'll show you the building too. Also, there is this little balcony, I don't quite understand its function, as there is nowhere to look at it, the windows face the courtyard, but it's there. There is no elevator in the house, I live on the third floor by Polish standards and on the fourth floor by Ukrainian standards, but there are still a few floors above. I also went to a local store called Zabka, they are all over Poland, there are these little grocery supermarkets. I decided to take another walk along the promenade as it was getting warmer now. Of course, I'll tell you honestly that in times like this, traveling and just walking in new cities or at least new places is the best cure for homesickness. I thank you for commenting, liking, and if you are not subscribed to the channel, then subscribe. Also, if you want to support me or my channel even more, you can do it by following the links in the description of this video. I will be very grateful to you, of course. And while this video came to the end, I slept a few hours ordered a taxi, by the way, the taxi driver came Ukrainian, so we had a great conversation and I have already arrived at the airport. But about it uh, I will tell you in the next video on the channel. So thanks for watching guys and see ya later, bye!